How's it going guys? Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate exercise heart rate via the Carvanen method. The Carvanen method is also called the heart rate reserve method and it's just a way of calculating exercise heart rate. So I'm going to show you that real quickly. I'm going to demonstrate that with the scenario that you're likely going to see on the test if you're taking the ACSM certified personal training exam or if you're taking another certified uh, personal training exam you'll probably see something similar as well. Okay so let me get started. This, um, so the scenario here is uh, Nancy. Nancy is a 48 year old female with a resting heart rate of 72. Uh, we need to calculate, so what is Nancy's target exercise heart rate for vigorous intensity exercise? Okay, so this is a four step process and let me go through this really quickly. It's pretty simple but uh, it sounds kind of confusing without, some, without seeing it demonstrated visually. So let me show you this. So the first thing you're going to do, step one, is you're going to calculate Nancy's maximum heart rate. You're just going to do this with a standard equation, 220 minus age. So 220 minus 48. Okay, that's step one. That's going to equal 172 beats per minute. This is the predicted maximum heart rate that Nancy can actually get to if she was exercising uh, full out. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to calculate Nancy's heart rate reserve. That's what the HRR stands for, heart rate reserve. Um, and heart rate reserve is just basically maximum heart rate minus resting heart rate. So you're going to take that 172 from there. And then you're going to subtract Nancy's resting heart rate, which is 72. And I made this example pretty easy, and that's going to give you 100. Okay. Uh, next step is you're going to multiply um, the heart rate reserve by the intensity that you're trying to achieve. Okay. This is going to require some memorization. You're going to have to know the intensities that correspond to different uh, levels of exercise intensity. So you're going to have to know the percentages. Uh, for vigorous intensity exercise, it's going to be 60 to 89% of heart rate reserve. Okay. So you're going to take 100 times 0.6 for the lower end, which is going to give you 60. And then 89% is going to be 100 times 0.89 for the higher end, which is going to give you 89. Again, I made this simple. Um, you're, you might see something more complicated on the test, but you have access to a calculator. So as long as you know the steps, as long as you know the formula, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so now you have these heart rate reserve values that you're going to need to apply back to the resting heart rate. So step four is now to take these values and add them to the resting heart rate. Um, so this is the amount of reserve that you're dipping into in the exercise. So you still need to apply that to the resting heart rate. So you're going to take 72 plus 60 and 72 plus 80. 9, which is going to give you 132 and 161. Okay, so in order to, for Nancy to be exercising at a vigorous intensity according to the Carvanen method or the heart rate reserve method, she's going to need to exercise at a heart rate between 132 and 161. And that's going to be your answer. So on the test, what you're going to find is you're going to find a multiple choice question. Um, and that's going to be the answer. It's going to be 132 to 161. Okay. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Um, like I said, you're going to see this on the test. So make sure you know how to do it. Make sure you know the steps. Make sure you know steps one through four. So memorize those. Watch this again if you need to. Uh, and really get this down. You don't want to get this question wrong. It's pretty simple. Um, as long as you know the formulas, you definitely have to memorize uh, the intensities. So the intensities, the percentages that correspond with each intensity. So I appreciate you guys watching. And um, if you're interested, if this was something, if you're struggling with uh, the exam and you're really having a problem studying right now, uh, you can check out my course. I have a course available online that goes through all of this. I, I really break down the ACSM exam uh, to a much more simpler format than the training materials that, that are provided. So if you're interested, you can click on the link below and uh, you can watch my, the rest of my videos as well. Subscribe to my channel if you're interested. I have a lot more videos to help you. If you're studying for the exam and you're having some problems, you want some visuals, um, I can help you out with that. All right. So I will talk to you soon and I appreciate you watching.